Parnath. Today we are going to see the process of how I did this portrait in black and white in oils and uh, before we go on and start uh, I'd like to mention a few things about this portrait and why I prefer to work in portraits and oil in black and white. If you're a beginner or if you're starting off with portrait painting Black and white is an excellent choice to go with, whether you're working with acrylics, oil, oil paints, or even watercolor. The reason it is so that in black and white, you are only working with two colors. However, with, uh, with the right kind of mixes of these two colors, black and white, you can get a variety of tones, a variety of shades of gray, and with that you can create your values and learn how the different values are created by different shades of the same color just varying a little bit here and there greatly and that is the most important thing about painting learning about values and with the same shade of, or rather with the same two colors and using the various shades of the same color you can actually establish all the different so using the same uh, two colors, you can create a variety of shades of the same color. And with that, those different shades, you can do all the different tonal levels, to all create all the different values that you need for a portrait. You can do the darkest shadows, the cast shadows, you can do the mid tones, and you can as well do the highlights. So just varying the, and using two different, just two colors, you're understanding your values so much better. And instead of fighting with 500 different colors and shades and getting the right color match, if you're, especially if you're a beginner, that could be really cumbersome and that could kind of uh, prevent you from practicing more and more and learning to do better. So this is a great way to start off portrait painting and realistic painting, go black and white. And in anyways, I personally like black and white, so even though I am probably not a beginner anymore, I still go black and white a lot of times. This particular painting is done on a wooden panel, and uh, which is coated with acrylic gesso, and uh, I have used black, white, and a little bit of ultramarine blue. The addition of ultramarine blue gives a very nice shade of gray that is not really available or that cannot be created just by mixing black and white but you can still do it with black and white i like to mix in a little bit of blue in it uh, and another thing is that i have used just three brushes in this i have used a number two filbert brush uh, number four mop brush and a detail brush a number one detail brush uh, for this painting um, because it's a very small 8 by 10 painting I did not require a lot of brushes and uh, even for the, most of the details apart from the very fine lines I have used my number to fill work and the mop brush I typically use it only when I need a very smooth finish and my style of painting is very realistic I like I love smooth finishes like would be an understatement I love smooth finishes and so mop brushes are the real go-to thing. They are the more magic wand uh, if you want to create a smooth, realistic finish. So that is what I use. And the brand of colors I have used here is Winton. Um, I like to use Winton and uh, no, this is not a sponsored video, but I just, I'm just telling you my choice of brand. And uh, that's all uh, that you need to know about uh, this painting before we go off and start. I hope you find uh, my process of painting um, as enjoyable as I find it while painting and you find it hopeful with your art journey and as usual below in the video notation I will put in uh, the link to my um, website and my Facebook page so that you can keep following me on social media and keep track of what I'm working on and what is coming up in the upcoming um, videos. Uh, one more thing I would like to mention is that in case of portraits, I'd like to start off with a very accurate drawing and so I draw it out on a separate piece of paper and then I go ahead and transfer it on my canvas surface. 
and how I do it is uh, I have uh, kind of showed it in a different video tutorial I will put the no, uh, link to that video tutorial as well in the video description so I hope you enjoy watching once again and uh